Hey folks, this week at Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit, we're making some cheesy hash brown bake. Get you some of that. Okay, we're gonna get started on this cheesy hash brown bake. We're gonna add one stick of butter to our skillet and we're gonna chop up one medium sweet onion. This is actually my sister Dawn's recipe that we've always enjoyed. It's very similar to Cracker Barrel, cheesy, cheesy hash brown bake. Say that three times real fast. I think it's better. Got a lot more flavor. This is a quick, easy side for a picnic or weeknight dinner. So these are going right in our skillet. Hit that with just a little bit of salt and some black pepper. Okay, so we have our onions translucent. And what we have here is one can of cream of chicken soup. We're gonna add right to this mixture. To that, we're gonna add one can of milk. Clean that can up real good. Make sure we get all of it. Add this right in here. Then once this comes back up to a simmer, we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna put together our mixture for the rest of the casserole. Okay, so we have, this is actually a 30 ounce bag of shredded hash browns. You can get any brand you want. We're gonna go ahead and add these to a large bowl. We have our mixture now exactly where we want it. It's starting to get nice and thick, simmered for a while. This is going over top. To that, we're adding one 16 ounce container of sour cream. You pick the brand. It doesn't matter. Now we got to hit it with some cheese, you know. So we got one package or two cups of, this is Vermont sharp cheddar. Give her a good mix. And you want to fold. You don't want to, you don't want to disintegrate those, for lack of better words, those hash browns. You just kind of want to fold it in. Now we're gonna come back in again. A little more salt. Remember, you gotta keep doing that in layers. Some more of that fresh cracked black pepper. Give it a mix. Again, we got our oven set at 400. We got a eight and a half by 13 bacon pan that we greased over here. And we're gonna go ahead and add this to that right now. So our mixture, we got our greased bacon dish here. All this is going in. Back again with a little more pepper. Just a touch more salt. Just so you know, the butter we used was unsalted uh, and the soup that we used also was actually low sodium. So if you think I'm adding a lot of salt, I'm actually not. We're gonna add to the top more cheese, of course. You wanna pile this on. They don't call it cheesy hash brown bake for nothing. Give that a good spread. We're gonna throw this in the 400 degree oven for one hour. The top's gonna to get nice and brown, crispy. We're excited to try this. It's gonna be great.
Okay, everybody, we're an hour into this, 58 minutes to be exact. We got the brownness. We got the crispiness on top that we wanted. This thing's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, let it rest a little bit. We're gonna give this a try. Okay, everybody, we've let this cheesy hash brown bake cool for about 15 minutes. We didn't wanna burn our faces off. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut through here. You could just scoop it out. I'm cutting it, trying to make it present at least halfway decent. So it's probably gonna fall apart, but we're gonna go ahead and just try to get this corner out. It's not too bad. Okay, we're gonna go in for that bite on this cheesy hash brown bake. We were looking to get a top crust on the top. That was crunchy, hear that? We got some nice crunch on top. You can see from the inside, it's nice and ooey gooey. We're gonna give it a try here. Hopefully it's cooled down enough. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That'd be a perfect side for any picnic this summer. Tailgate in the fall. Give this recipe a try. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Get you some.